To ensure that dividends of democracy get to the people at the grassroots, the leadership of Somalia local government led by Abdul Hamed Salawu invited stakeholders in the local government for input on the preparation of the year 2022 budget. The meeting recorded an impressive turnout of stakeholders in the council who presented various requests. At the meeting, the chairman, Abdul Hamed Salawu, reeled out some of the achievements of his administration in 2021 with the readiness to do more this year. All this we cannot do alone without your unflinching support and participation. Also, the success of the, of the present administration rests squarely on your cooperation in fulfillment of your civic responsibilities. Through prompt payment of rates and dues, monitoring of government projects, and protection of public infrastructure, among others. I therefore enjoy robust participation in the process as we deliberate today, as said, those that wear the shoe knows where it pinches. Tell us your need and we will continue to work seriously to actualize your dream. Member Lagos State House of Assembly Honorable Roti Miolowo also applauded the Executive Chairman for the programs and projects carried out within the last 100 days in office. For his doggedness, for his commitment at ensuring that we move Shomuru to the next level. We have been working together and we are working so assiduously to raise the bar. For the next generation to know that we have done our best in terms of providing all infrastructures that bring succor to our people and they make their life more comfortable. The HOD budget and planning of Shomolu local government Mrs. Shade Oluranti applauded the executive chairman for the programs and projects carried out. She also implored the residents to promptly and regularly pay their levies so as to aid development. As you all could recall, is uh, calling for a participatory governance whereby everybody is included in his policy formulation. We are not just sitting down in the office to decide for them. We know they are the residents of the community, they know what they want, and they will have passion for their request. That's why the chairman is calling all of them to come in today, uh, put up their mind to us, so as to take it all down and do whatever is needful on them. The local government is next to the state government. Most of the roads have been done. We in the Community Development Committee sat down even before today to do a statistics of roads that does not have electrification. With electrification, there will be nightlife. With electrification, there is going to be security. It's leap by example. It's government to be like what you put on your hand. They don't need the mirror. You have a something budget and you have completed them. So I'm a strongly support of his government. It's trying. So we all need to support the government by paying our tax regularly and doing what is right at the right time. I think that is what I will advise my people to do. We thank God that is happening now. That people can now come and tell what should be in the budget. Now we are telling them how they want they should spend what is ours, which is the resources, which is meant for all. And it's showing that this is democracy because people can now make their input on what the government should do for them at the grassroots level. The meeting is a pointer that the current administration in Shemoli local government holds its people in high esteem. What we did in 2021 is just a tip of the iceberg. We have some more projects, some more big projects that we have to come, we have to, we have to, we have to, it's coming up to, it's coming to, it's coming up to the local government. Like, okay, for now, we, we are going to the health center in Akoka. That is a very big project. That is a project that is over 100 million. That is, that is our next big project.
Go be in the